The Arum have been weakened, but not defeated. We need to destroy their fleet next. Understood. That fleet's going down. Take out those green targets, Pit. Different ships. Well, yes, there are battleships, cruisers, destroyers, kayaks. No, I mean, the Arm have lots of ships. I doubt they have any kayaks. There are a lot of them. It might be best to get you out of there. No. Why would you want to do that? Where you kidheads see adversity, I see opportunity. Hades. For example, this battleship looks like it could use a good home. Now's your chance, minions. It's Luton time! The Underworld certainly is enthusiastic when it comes to thieving. Up ahead is where the battleships are being hatched. Hatched? Don't you mean built? I'm sorry. I keep thinking of the Arum as a bee colony. And if their smaller troops are drones, their ships are killer bees. If we want to take down their fleet, we need to target the source of the problem. Ugh, I just hope there's no Arum Queen. Meteors are kind of pretty. Actually, those are also our own troops. According to my celestial super scanner, they're Rosses. Your celestial super scanner? Oh, I get it. That's how you know the names of enemies. Well, you can't actually pronounce our names, so I took a few creative liberties. Hey, am I the only one paying attention here? Look, those are troops are just rip-offs of underworld enemies. What? I gotta hand it to them. There's some pretty decent knockoffs. First they developed planets. Now they're copying enemies. <laughs> Low lives. So maybe the treasure boxes and exotanks were also copies. Can't say for sure. Full disclosure here. The Mimi Cuties are courtesy of yours truly. It was you! What? Don't you like presents, pretty pet? We're nearing a floating island. You can hide from the Arum fleet by taking a lower route. to destroy her in. They're destroying themselves to get to you. I have to hand it to the Arm. They don't fool around. None of these battleships seem to have a helm. And I'm not detecting any life forms in the ships either. Something has to be controlling them. We are from outer space. Yes, yes, you're hilarious. Seems like awfully poor design for these ships to have their weak spots exposed. Or you can just thank me for the user-friendly interface. Are you saying that you expose the ship's weak spots? I attach large markers to the ship's exteriors that connect to their engines. In less technical terms, I used my power of weak point exposure. Hey, thanks. Anything to help you take down the Arum fleet. We've arrived at the Arum Hive. There's just one problem. What is it? There doesn't seem to be any way in. Really? There's not a single entry? Doesn't look like it. And we can't just bust it? We can't. There's a shield to protect the ships on their way out. But you always find a way in, Lady Palutena. So now what? You just go home and order a pizza? I do have a coupon. You two have more pedestrian taste than I expected. Don't curse the darkness, light a candle. When freaky aliens give you lemons, make freaky alien lemonade. Like this! Well, well that's one way to do it. That was awesome. Now just pass through the ship to enter the arm hive. It's like a straw stuck in an orange. Commencing Operation Hive Infiltration. Hot, 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 hot! Now that we're in the Arm Hive, 
We're one step closer to stopping their fleet. Right, so the next step is to shut down the Hive's power generator. Uh-oh. You must have set up an alarm. <laughs> Maybe you tripped their smell sensor. So, the Aura probably used more high-tech ways of detecting intruders. Like a brainwave scanner or something. No, it was probably his smell. The ship the Underworld Army hijacked was really in rough shape. Well, yeah! They did crash it straight into the hive. But on Pride's side, in doing so, they lost some of their own troops and took out some armed forces. I am thankful for that bit of good news. Um... You're welcome. generator is somewhere deep inside the arm hive. I'm against this place. It's so cold and sterile. Oh, I don't know. It's nothing a lava lamp and a few posters couldn't fix.
There's a hot spring. Hold on. This is an Aram hot spring. You don't know if it's dangerous. Dangerous? Come on now, I've spent this entire game getting shot at. Plus, if Aram hot springs are so deadly, why didn't you warn me in the last level? Because that's Pelotina's job, not mine. Look, an ether ring. It's probably another cheap arm knockoff. I don't care. If it works, I'm gonna use it. I'm an angel, and this is how we get things done. No, that's how scavengers get things done. Are you a buzzer, Kit? No, no. I think we can all agree that it's not a buzzer. Though, I have seen him eat some questionable things off the ground. Floor ice cream gives you help! when you're floating down.
can't believe this thing actually fits inside the arm high. It is quite expansive. So many enemies! Alright! The forces of nature? Don't get the wrong idea, Pit. I'm not here to help you. It's just in my best interest to keep you alive for now. This will take you to the Aram Hive's power generator. Destroy the generator to bring down this whole place. Not a problem. It's their last line of defense. I dedicate this beatdown to the honor of our precious planet. And now, on to the Aram Brain. 